Hey guys, welcome to the Helm for Beginners series. In the last videos, we have already seen how to create our own charts. Today's video will be a complete practical video in which we will use already present charts and deploy them. To use already present charts, you need to visit artifacthub.io. Many people have created and published charts here, so you can easily find them and directly install them in your own cluster. For example, if we search for a WordPress chart, you will see 47 results for WordPress. So, as we have received the first chart in our repository, its publisher is Bitnami. And it is present on the Bitnami chart repository. On the right, you can also see when it was last updated and which version is currently running. And below, you will see four things. The first is whether this chart will provide us with a value schema. The second is whether this package is a signed package or not. The third button will show you verified publishers, that is, whether it was published by a verified publisher or not. And the last option will show whether this chart is an official chart or not. These options are provided so that if you are deploying it in production, you know who published it, whether it is an official chart, and whether it is a signed chart. Below, you will also see a list of many charts published by different publishers. You can go inside each chart and read details about it. Here you will find all the instructions and prerequisites, such as how to install it, how to configure it, you will find all the details written here. On the right-hand side, you can see the application version, that is, which version of WordPress you are using and which other versions are available here in the chart, you can see them from here and deploy them according to your requirement. And at the bottom, you will find where their container images are present you will find the link here. You will find the dependencies required to install this chart here. On the top right, you will see four to five options. These are very important options. The first option will show you how to install this chart. We will come to that later. The second option is the templates section where you can view all the files that are present inside the templates directory of this chart. The third option is for default values where you can see the content of the values, the YAML file to see what variables are set here and what values are provided as defaults. The fourth option is for value schema where you can see the content of the value schema .json file. Above, you will also be able to see how many users have subscribed to it and how many production users are using this chart in production. Now, it's time to install the chart. To install the chart, you need to run these two commands inside your cluster. The first command is to add this repository to your cluster, and the second is to install its chart using the helm install command. First, let's talk about what the helm repo command is, and we will run the command helm repo help. The helm repo command helps us interact with chart repositories. You can think of chart repositories as being similar to GitHub repositories. Just like how we store application code in GitHub repositories, similarly, in chart repositories, Helm charts are present, meaning their files are present there. And just like how we have to clone a GitHub repository first to use the code present in it, similarly, to use any chart, you need to add that repository to your cluster so that you can access those files during installation. Here you will see all the available commands that you can use with the Helm repo command. The add command is used to add any chart repository. The list command is used to list out the chart repositories that are already added in your cluster. With the remove command, you can remove any chart repository, and with the update command, you can update any chart repository just like you do get pull to pull the latest code. Similarly with the update command, you can pull the latest chart files to your cluster's present repository. So if we run the helm repo list command now, we will not have any repository added. To use the WordPress chart, we need to add the Bitnami repository to our cluster using this command. With this command, our repository will be added, and if you run the Helm repo list command now, you will see our repository added here. Now, to install the chart, you can run this command where we are installing Helm and our release name here is my WordPress, and we are using the Bitnami repository for the WordPress chart. Here, with version, we are specifying which version of the chart to install. As soon as you run this command, our chart will be installed in our cluster, and you will see many instructions here for using the WordPress site. Our chart has been installed inside the default namespace. 
so let's read each instruction one by one and see our WordPress site running. The first instruction is to get the WordPress URL, for which we need to run these three commands. Upon running the command, you will be provided with the URL where you can see your WordPress blog and also obtain the admin URL to access the admin page. The third instruction is to run the following commands to get the login credentials that provide you with the username and password required to access the admin site. Before accessing, let's check once if our pods and services are up and running. If they are not up and running, we will have to wait until they are. As soon as everything is running smoothly. Now, when you visit the URL provided for the admin page and the blog page, you need to first enter your username and password on the admin page. This will allow you to log into the admin page. And on localhost, you will also be able to see your first default WordPress blog. So, today we have deployed a WordPress site using the WordPress Helm chart. If we had gone to deploy it without Helm, we could never have done it this fast and would have struggled to resolve a lot of issues. Helm is so powerful that you can set up your WordPress with just a single command. Isn't it an amazing tool? Up until now, we have directly installed the WordPress Helm chart without making any updates in its values file. But if you want to clone the code of any chart and make updates to it, you can pull the chart files to your machine. Use the Helm pull command with the chart name and with the option of double hyphen untar. This way, the given chart will be installed on your machine. Now if you do ls, you will see a folder named WordPress, which is our chart folder. If you open it, you will find the directory structure of Helm. Within the charts folder, there are files of dependent charts. In the templates folder, you will find YAML files of all the Kubernetes objects related to WordPress that will be deployed in the cluster. Inside the charts.lock file, you will find information on which version of dependent charts needs to be installed here. In the chart.yaml, you will find information related to the chart such as the version of the application, version of the chart, dependent charts, and much more. You will also find a readme.md file, which will provide you with detailed instructions for all the setups. Here you present value schema JSON file and values YAML file where you can override several options or pass dynamically will be available here. So you can dynamically pass any value here and upgrade your chart according to your requirements. To dynamically pass some values, we create our separate custom values file within this directory. And in that, we update the value of the replica count for the WordPress deployment, which is currently set to 1. You can also see by running the kubectl get pods command that currently only one WordPress pod is running because the default values file has set the replica count to one value. So, suppose inside our custom values file, we provide a value of 3 for this replica count variable and save the file. Then, if we run the helm upgrade command with our release name and chart location, which is dot, because our chart is present within this directory. And to pick up the values defined in our custom values, we use the option here with a hyphen hyphen values and the name of the custom values file, which is custom values.yaml. By writing all this and running the command, our WordPress release will be upgraded, and if you check the output of the kubectl get pods command, it will show that new WordPress pods are being created for us because we have set the replica count from 1 to 3. So, the values we provided in the custom values file have been picked up and the ones we did not provide have been taken from our default values. This way, you can create custom values files to override variables and customize any public chart to deploy in your cluster. And now if you check with the helm list command, you will see that the revision of our My WordPress release has changed from 1 to 2 because we have made some upgrades to it. You can also view the history of all revisions by passing the helm history and the name of the release, to see which version is currently deployed and what changes have been made in it. Although this was a small change, imagine if you upgrade a chart in production and it causes an issue. In such a case, if you want to switch back to a previous revision, you can use the Helm rollback command by providing your release name and the revision number you want to roll back to. After rolling back, if you run the Helm history command to see the release, you will see a new revision there with the description stating that you have rolled back to the first revision. In today's video, we saw how to use an already existing WordPress chart from Artifact Hub, deploy it with custom values, perform an upgrade, and also roll back.
Today, we have learned many important concepts of Helm that are used in the real world. Therefore, I request you to not just watch the video, but also try to practically perform it. If you have any doubts anywhere, please let us know in the comment section. And if you found the video informative, if you have learned something new from today's video, then please like the video. Share our videos with those who want to learn Helm and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video, thank you.